In the options world, there's something called put call parity. And what that, that relationship really means is that for any strike price, there's a certain relationship between the calls and the puts on that, uh, on that strike price. And if that relationship goes out of sync, then there is what you call an arbitrage opportunity. So let's try to understand this by use of a spread. So what we have here is Priceline, and Priceline's current price is around $695. So the best way to understand this example would be to take the example of a bear call. And what we have here is a bear call, but this is an in-the-money bear call. Uh, normally, you, you probably will put an out-of-the-money bear call and or an at-the-money, but in this case, we're going to put an in-the-money so that we can understand the example of put call parity. Um, so the if you look at it, the short strike is at 650 and the long strike is at 655. So we are selling the 650 and we are buying the 655. And even though it's it's a bear call, you can see that the credit is pretty high. It's three dollars and seventy five cents, and that's because it's in the money. And um, the spread itself is five dollar wide, and your credit is three seventy five. So. Um, your risk on this trade is only one dollar uh, twenty five so you can see that your maximum risk is twelve fifty uh, price lines currently right here at six ninety five and your short strike is at six fifty and your long strike is at six fifty five so price line obviously it has to move from six ninety five to uh, six fifty before this uh, spread can become profitable. But what you can see is this becomes a theta negative position and that's because um, the long strike is actually closer to the current price. So in that sense, the 655 is, um, is more at the money to the current price, um, you know, and, and therefore you're going to see that that is going to have a negative theta effect. You also have a negative delta, which is not surprising but you have a positive vega. Again, this is reversed because this is an in the money uh, bear call spread. Now, what we mean is, let's take a look at this. Uh, basically, what we've done is we've used this strike, the 650 and the 655. So we are selling the 650 and we bought the 655. Now, if you wanted to understand put call parity, then what you would need to do is come exactly on the opposite side and it's it should be very similar to putting on a trade, a bear put trade. So in this case, what we would do is we would buy the 655 and we would sell the 650. So remember, on the call side, it's a bear call spread. So generally, it's a credit spread. So you know, you're selling the 650 and you're buying the 655. On the put side, it'll be a bear put spread. So it'll be a debit spread. You're buying the 655 and you're selling the 650. And that's exactly what we have here on the second trade. So if you let's take a look at the risk profile again. This is the bear call spread. Now what we're going to do is look at the bear put spread. And you can see it's very similar in profile. So the bear put spread, again, it's also theta negative. It's, it's, it, it'll have a negative delta because it's a bear put. And the theta value is about $9 a day. In the other case, I think it was $10 a day and also you have a positive vega position but what's the what's the real difference here well the put call parity relationship tells you that really there should be no difference because if there is a difference then this is an arbitrage opportunity which will be capitalized upon by uh, the big players so these are the kinds of things that they're looking for so let's see what's the difference here in the credit spread, you're getting a credit of 3.75. So let's look at the credit spread first. You're getting a credit of 3,750 3, and your max risk is 1250. Whereas in the debit spread, what you have is a max risk of 1150 and a max reward of 3,850. So it looks like the debit spread has a slight advantage to the uh, to the credit spread and so if you were choosing between the two you would obviously choose the debit spread because you're going to pay less and you have a slightly better reward but this kind of a and ideally if the put call relationship works perfectly 
uh, this kind of a difference will be very minimal if at all and that's the whole point so whenever you look at an options chain and you look at the series and if you want to do a bear put remember you always have a similar trade on the other side so whether you're looking at calls or puts whether you're looking at a, any kind of a debit spread or a credit spread um, when you do it on one side you always have an equivalent trade on the other side and you can choose which trade is slightly more beneficial to you they in general you won't find a huge difference but if there is a difference then obviously you can choose the other trade because in terms of its risk characteristics they're both the same they're both absolutely the same so what you should do is try to get uh, the try to get onto the side where you have a better risk reward so this put call parity relationship always works uh, between calls and puts and so whenever especially when you're putting credit spreads you always have an equivalent uh, strategy using the other side so if you were using calls you can you should always look at the puts and see if you have a better price there because if, if you have I mean, even if it's 10 cents it makes a big difference so if you have an equivalent uh, uh, strategy or if you have an equivalent trade on the other side that is slightly better for you then that's an edge and you should take it so that's exactly what the put call parity relationship means and next time when you put a credit spread you can always go to the other side and see if you have a slightly better edge on the other side